All right, let's start the mission. Uh, we've got Dr. Loco as the, the helmsman. Uh, Hobo Jesto, <laughs> or Jesdemol is the radio man. I'm as the captain. We we had another person, but unfortunately they cannot be here. But oh well, we'll see how this goes. I thought you called me Hobo Jesdemol. All right. Let's see where we are first. We should be pretty close to the to the convoy. See anything yet? Oh, there they are. Oh, there's the destroyer already. Not really sure. I think they're going away from us. If I'm not mistaken. Can we actually get onto the attack periscope? I was gonna run up there, but I didn't know if I should. Where was it? It was around here, wasn't it? There it um, is. that would be at um two eighty three. Okay, let's go. New heading one eight zero. Yeah, we're here, Kalai. Yeah, I think they're definitely going away from us. Darn it! And both engines full speed ahead. We need to catch him. Full speed ahead. Heading 280. So they're at 170. Somewhere. Wait. I said uh, heading 180. <laughs> <laughs> I see a little smoke on the horizon at almost 190. But I don't yes, know if it's just the fog or... It's the destroyer. Okay. It's at that's all I see is just a little tiny bit of smoke on yeah. the horizon. It's at uh, heading 170. And unfortunately they're going away from us, so... What we're gonna do is leave. New heading okay. one nine zero. That's what we're gonna do. Port to one nine zero, head Kalai. All right. Oh no, I don't feel good. Oh, the whole thing's tilting. <laughs> 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 so unfortunately, we we were hoping we would have someone on the dive plane controls and the heading and speed, and still have someone on the hydrophones when needed. But oh well, we'll just have to do without now. We will do some running around, Captain. But yeah, like um, like me and Dr. Loco found out, and me and Jesdemol as well, playing with just two people, it's a bit more work, but it's still very fun. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. it was uh, 13 depth charges we uh, didn't get hit with, almost. That Three, many? Six, nine, about 12, maybe. Yeah, it was a lot. It was like three, two to three each time they shot, and then there was like ten, ten minutes of silence. <gasps> this is perfect. What's perfect? We now have a DJ for disco time. Oh, we d we do. Oh. Should I turn yeah. on the music? Just the No. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. Yeah. Let me know when I can turn on the music. Uh, I don't know. I I hope it's none of it is licensed. But then again, everything is so old. It should probably it's be in music, the. But I I believe it's in the comments. Yeah. It's World War II music, I think. 165, the destroyer is at. Okay, perfect. Let's go early. Well, this is a bit of a shame because this is going to take quite a while for us to catch up, but oh well. We're also going to show that uh, this game requires patience. <laughs> it does. A lot of patience. Uh, it felt like forever yesterday when we were waiting for that. Uh, ship to leave. Yeah, but that was pretty he cool. He shut off his engines, and, <laughs> and then he shut off his, um, his ping or whatever, and then bam, I was, I was really scared at that point. I, that was a lot of fun, though. Oh, it was so much fun. Uh, so 164, somewhere that way. 
What is that, actually? It's so far away, there's no way I can really recognize this. Uh, so it can either... Oh, it's only got one funnel, isn't it? Is anyone on the observation periscope? Uh, I am not. Let me see. A few seconds. Boop. It's at... Uh, one eight, one eight, one nine, one eight. One six three. I think it has, yeah, I think it has one funnel. You think it has one funnel? Yeah. Which means it would only be a yeah. bittern class sloop. Unless it's a flower class corvette, but it doesn't look like it. It's much smaller. All three have one funnel. Uh, all three? Yeah, what? Uh, there's a very... Oh, yeah, I see way, them now. Just to the right. I see them now. I forgot how to get to the finder for the ships. Six, five... Yeah, it's a mast. Oh, there. It's a mast and a composite. I also thought it was two chimneys at one, but there's only one. No, there's only one. Smoke. It's a bittern class sloop, which means it's 23 mast height. Let me see if I can roughly estimate wh how far this is. So this is yeah, about 1.4 center radians. So they're about six and a half kilometers away, the destroyer anyway. And our heading is 190, correct? I think zero, correct. Okay, it almost seems. Yeah, we're gonna keep it this. That we are running slightly parallel. Yeah. And I, th I think that we're going slightly towards them. Yeah, I think so too. But then again. Although, the ship on the right is yeah. almost completely astern. Oh, there's, there's another one that popped up further to the right. Yeah, there's three of them now. That's going to the left. No, one, two, three, four. If this middle one is anything to judge by, I think we're now seeing its starboard side slightly, which I believe. Oh, there's another one in the in the back now. Yeah. We're definitely getting closer. Port port side. We're looking at the port side. Well, from from our side, yeah. But we're looking at their starboard side. Their right sides. Okay, so there's at least four of them in the convoy, probably more. One, two, three, four, five, I can see five. I, I, I'm not counting the destroyer. You can see five? Yes. Minus the destroyer? Okay. I can see six. Oh yeah, you're on the observation periscope, probably uh, you can see better, even though I think this is a larger zoom. Oh, there, there's another one. Okay, yeah, I think we are definitely intercepting. That destroyer looks dangerously close. I've got... Okay, uh, new heading... I've got zero. 210. I don't like this. The destroyer is heading away. I, for a moment, I thought it was going straight for us, but I think if it were, it would already be firing at us. Two one zero. Excellent. Is it really? Is it just me, or is it really foggy? I don't like foggy. It's pretty foggy. It's okay down here. Uh. Of course, it looks like it's midday or something. The sun's pretty bright. Uh, it's about two o'clock. Jessamil, if you want, you can get up onto the conning tower and use your binoculars to uh, to, sp to spot. I think it's a little bit too early to try and identify them. They're too far away, too foggy. I forgot how to look to identify. Uh, what do you mean? C. I, I press C, but I don't have the. I just have notes. You have to go to the ships. recognition manual. Oh, there we go. Merchants. All right, I just needed to do that. Thank you very much. So that one was twenty-three. That's, oh no, I hear it. Let's see, 20, uh, 
23, still 1.6, let's say. 5.7 kilometers for the destroyer. Yeah, but <laughs> we're actually very close to them. Oh, the grinding noise. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You're looking the wrong way. Yeah, I don't see anything. You're That's the thing. Nothing. Turn around. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. More to the right. A lot more. <laughs> well, just look at the compass over there. There's a compass next to you. No, th the other one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> look at the compass. Uh, and you want to look in the direction of 155. Facing now, okay. I don't even. I have circled the thing and I have seen no ships. One five five. I think my guy's blind. They're there. You can scan their horizon there there. for uh, smoke. Okay. Um. A lot yeah, of three feedback. completely five completely different two ships are exactly the same and three ships are different I doubt they're two exactly the same the one on the end and then there's a second one that's not the same and then the next one is the same so it's the first and the third one <laughs> yeah they look exactly the same. <laughs> same oh shit same, no different. no no my bad I didn't notice that they had another ship at the end, another um, one way in the distance. So what I'm trying to discern right now is how the convoy is formed. What's the formation? Uh, they're I 11, they're 10 kilometers away. I see... I know, but I'm trying to see if it's... A warship in the front. Two at the back, two, two in the in middle, the back. and two at the front, or is it more? I see one in the front. Four in the middle, in se sets of two, and one in the back. Yeah, exactly. What? Four in the middle? Yes, yes you have two, 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 and then two, and they're diagonal from each other. They're not, they're not, um... Yeah, so it's two in the back, two in the middle, and one in the front so far. Yeah, and well, one in the back is the, uh, is the, the warship. Yeah, I'm not oh, counting the warship okay. at all, part of the You don't convoy. count the warship? That no. is my fault, then. Because I don't care about the warship until it actually sniffs us out. So let me see. Let me start writing this down. Uh, in a space. You're right. The only difference between the two ships that I thought were the same is one actually has a um, railing and the other doesn't. Yeah, there will be a tanker. That's nice. If it's got a railing, that usually means it's a tanker. I like that. We don't know about the front yet. So that's 2-2-1, two, two, it seems. Because I think we should be seeing the front column now. Or the front row, but I don't see anything apart from one small merchant. That destroyer is getting a little bit too close for comfort. What is that? Oh, it's turning. Uh, the destroyer two. is at uh, 12, 12 kilometers. 12 kilometers? No way. Yes. It has a height of 23 and it's. It's uh, 4.6 kilometers. Hang on. It's 2 centi radians high. No. Yeah. Don't you see the mast? The one just, bef ah, just yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah, the funnel. Yeah, yeah, now I see the mast. It's almost two centi radians high. It's 4.6 kilometers. It's a little bit too close. Oh yeah, the mast is really high. Uh, actually, from up here on the conning tower, it looks much further away though, so I think with the um, fog, with the fog, we should be fine. Although it's still going to take quite a while to get there. But let's start trying to identify these things. I want to see what the composition of the convoy is. So let's start 
Where is the destroyer? Oh, there it is. So let's start uh, at the it's back. It's a bitten class sloop. No, let, let's start yeah, at the I back. I already added, added that to the uh, identified ships. The uh, oh, the very front one. The the warship. Yeah. Oh, the the warship. Okay. So let's start yeah. at the very the back. Uh, the one that's closest to us. It's got a, a midship. Uh, where's the merchant's midship engine placement? It's a. I think it's a composite. Composite? It's got definitely an aft island, but I think nothing else. Aft? Uh, and masts? And Are masts? They visible? I think it's mast. Fun ah, they're overlapping now. Mast funnel kinkpin? That can be right. Light merchant type 19? Nope, my nope. bad. That is my fault. I did that totally wrong. We have a heavy freighter type 12, heavy freighter type 29, light merchant type 15, light merchant type 18, and light merchant type 19. Without the uh, mast configuration. Hmm. Let's see. Because that See, is... they're overlapping, so I'm having trouble with it. I think we might be mast mast at the end. Yeah, there we go. Light merchant type 15. Let's see if that's right. No. Let's got this at the front. No, that's not it. We'll need to get closer. Because I'm not... See, see that thing in the back? It looks like a kingpin. But... Yeah. I don't think we're at such an angle for it to be a kingpin. It's definitely a mast funnel and then something, like fu uh, mast mast. Or it, it looks like an American football goal. Yeah. yeah. Which would be a kingpin, but we're a not... Kingpin. Yeah. We're not at that angle. It is a composite. It is a no. I don't think it's the light merchant type two. I think it's a light merchant type nineteen. Uh, with what? A midship composite aft, and I will add it 19. to the identified ships. Then you can remove it if it's not that one. It might be light merchant. Uh, no, it's definitely not type 19 because it's got a bigger superstructure. It okay, it's not. Okay, it's none of these ones. So it must have an island somewhere else. It's too foggy. Oh, okay, the Dinko is here. Let's see if I can invite him. I don't think I can. Hey, heavy freighter type 12. Added it to the identified chips. Thank you. I think it's that one. I'm quite sure of it. Uh, so which one? Sorry, I was just inviting him. <laughs> I added the last one, uh, I, I added uh, the one I think it is to the identified chips. Heavy freighter type 12? Yeah, that does yes. look like it. Just see the destroyers over there. Oh, uh, it's got that mast at the front, that kind of superstructure. Although the superstructure at the front doesn't look right. And superstructure in the front? Yeah, the, the front of the ship doesn't look right either. Yeah, but we're looking at it at an angle. Uh, no, I see two masts now at the front. Hmm. Let me. Oh man, this is this is problematic because now I have to invite Ledinka here as well. <laughs> While we do this. And I don't think it's a composite. There's something at the back I see now. It's a split. Is it? Yes. I 
and I think it's a heavy tanker type 34. Uh, I don't see two masts at the front. I'm going to add two ships to the identified list. Oh, why can't I add this one? Am I being tossed from the game again? Oh, no. Well, you can rejoin. Hello? Hello? Yes? Let me just make you a little bit louder. There we go. It's definitely a composite, I would say. Not a split. I've added two ships to the uh, identified ship list that might be the one. Uh, it's, neither. it's neither, because you have to look at the superstructure. It's much bigger than that. Where's the superstructure located on that one? It's uh, amidships. Oh, I've, I was looking at the third one. Sorry. Yeah, we have to look at the very rear one now. Yeah. The the third one is one of those two. Uh, Okay, I'm gonna go for the second column because I just cannot make sense out of that one. So that one is a midships engine placement. It's got an aft island. It's got what does it have? A mast, mast, funnel, mast. Mast, mast, funnel, mast. And it should be a heavy tanker type 34. Composite. What the heck? Which is oh, it's a split. Yeah, heavy tanker ta tanker type 34. With that thing, yeah, that that's definitely it. Okay, so that one is type 34. That's 13.8 kilotons. That's quite nice. It's got a mast height of 34. All right, I'm just writing all that down. All right, what's the other one in the second column? It's a little bit difficult to see, but I think it has. It's got a midship uh, placement of the engine. It's a composite. And I think it has a front... No, it's, it's impossible. It's too far away to see the uh, masts. It can only be a trawler then. With the current... Uh no, because uh, I don't see any of the masts uh, right now. So there's no point in trying to identify it. But it is indeed a trawler. <laughs> no. It's too big. The, 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 the one all the way in the front. That's oh, the, the one all the way in the front. We're going to ignore that one because it's far too small. Not a juicy target. Right, so we've only identified one successfully right now because we're too far away, but that's okay. Um... Okay, so do we have everyone on the boat? Just use this. I am on the boat. Okay. Oh, okay, we've got Dr. Lednik, we've got everyone. Okay, excellent. Uh, Dr. Lednik, we've got ships at 110 degrees, just in case you haven't yeah, spotted uh, them yet. I, I, I've been looking at them. Okay. There's a destroyer at the back, still not aware of us. All right, um, both engines full stop. I want to get below two knots to take a take a reading. Destroyer is definitely much further away now. What was it? 23 mast, I believe, right? Where's my mouse? Oops. 
23 mast and about 1 centiradian maybe. That's almost 9 kilometers. Uh, what's our current speed? 6, 5. Okay, so the one we've identified successfully is the heavy tanker 34, right? Yes. That's, that's 133 meters. It's very far though. Um, let me know when we're below 2 knots, please. Passing 3. Okay. And uh, not the best time to take a measurement, but... Well. We've passed uh, 2 knots. Okay. And dropping. Alright, so let's take a measurement of this ship. This is the one we've identified. It's just unfortunate that the convoy was placed so far away and facing away from us right for the <laughs> for the game where we are recording. But oh well. We'll also show to everyone that you need a lot of patience for the game. That's part of the excitement. I it mean, is. when you actually do hit something, it's pretty amazing. It is. Especially if you hit something. <laughs> They'll understand once we'll start diving. <coughs> Sorry? They'll understand once we start diving. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the best part. You hear all the creaks and the cracks yes. and the crickles and the crooks. I have 53 seconds. Yep, about 54 as well, okay. Uh, so let's see. Oops, what did I do? Ah, darn it. 133 meters length. So they're doing 5 knots. Alright, uh, exactly both engines knots. full speed ahead. Both engines full speed ahead. What's our current heading? Heading 210 still, sir. I thought you were the dive officer. If he's the helmsman, I, I'm the dive officer. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you I said 210. Uh, new heading 190. Who was the dive officer? Uh, that would be me, Dr. Lindig. Ah. <coughs> okay. You're very quiet. I'm going to turn up your volume. Yeah, me too, actually. There we go. 158 percent. Yeah, sorry, I only have a dinky little table microphone. Please, please don't change any settings or shout into your microphone. Yeah, boy, here, Kaloy. Kaloy. You're heading 190, please. You're heading 190. Currently doing 17 knots. Excellent. Obviously, for anyone watching, this is, you know, this is not how you should do it. This is all just eyeballing it. What you should do is take a measurement of the identified ship, see how far it is, write it down on your uh, map, the location, with the heading. And then after a while, take another measurement to see what their approximate heading is, and then go on a perpendicular route and then intercept them. But, you know, it's just a skirmish. <laughs> heading Martin Zero, Herr Kalein. Excellent. Excellent. <coughs> this is quite exciting with, with four people. Just a mill. Oh, Still here? I've um you scared the crap out of me. What? What <laughs> happened? <laughs> I thought you were I, I thought you were <laughs> sleeping standing up. I'm sitting here eating here in the crew quarters and I see a big <laughs> ugly face just looking at me. 